This video will show how to define cutting tool assemblies using Tool Manager. Here we have a Verica project file open. The project is almost ready for us to run the simulation. The tool library contains most of the cutting tool assemblies required. We need only define tool assemblies for tools 1 and 4. To do this, we double click on the Tool Manager branch in the project tree. Here we have Tool Manager open and we can now go and define tool 1, a 1 inch end mill. When a new tool is added to the tool list, the tool is created with default holder and cutter components and arranged in a parent-child hierarchy. First let's define the holder. In this case we will reference an existing holder from our master library using the search tool window. It's a good practice to have a master library for holders. Here's a list of all tools in a specified directory. We can filter this list to show only a couple of the holders and then select the one we want. Next, we can define the cutter by filling in the cutter definition fields. Note that as we enter values, the tool display area updates. Once the holder and the cutter are defined, we can set the driven point. The driven point is used to define the control point of a tool assembly. The gauge point is the point on the tool assembly that will connect to the machine spindle. We can use the auto gauge icon to get the highest point of the assembly, or like in this case, click with the middle button of the mouse to record only the Z value desired. The description helps quickly identify the tool. It will also appear in the message area if an error or a warning is related to it, and in various reports generated by Vericut. We have now defined tool 1, and we can define tool 4. This time, we'll define a 3 8 tap. For this tool, we will use the hole making tool type, which also consists of reamers, drills, and center drills. Once again, we define the holder we need, and then for the cutter, we will use the standard tool feature. With this feature, the tool parameters definition area is populated with the information provided in the CSV file. And as we did for tool 1, we can set the driven point, the gauge point, and the tool description. We now have all the cutting tool assemblies to find and we can save the tool library file and exit tool manager. We adjust the panels we want to see during the simulation and then click the play button to have Verica process and simulate the NC program. And that's it! For more information on defining cutting tool assemblies with tool manager see the Verica help or for a step-by-step -step training session see the Verica welcome screen.